Hey YouTubers, it's Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Um, I wanted to come to you to encourage all of us to heal our wounds. Uh, the only way we're going to do that is really by loving each other and being understanding, willing to um, put differences aside. Time is short. I got notified tonight that a very dear friend of mine is dying. She lives in California. She's 84 years old. She's dying intentionally. She stopped eating uh, the day before Christmas, they said, or two days before Christmas. Um, she basically got very sick about three years ago, and probably from the nuclear effects, radiation from Fukushima. She and I talked about it then. It was right after I found out about Fukushima that she got sick. And, I mean, I guess her attitude was right. Like, it doesn't really matter where she gets it. She was like 80 years old at the time, right? I mean, she's going to leave one way or another. But it really brings it home for me that already she's gone. I won't get one more conversation. Her caretaker called me and told me that um, she's not really responsive. And that makes me really sad. And we are going to continue this. We are going to lose friends and people we love. Today I saw a story about a little seven-year-old girl in St. Louis who died of brain cancer. The story in Fukushima that said, uh, doctors are mystified. There's a mystery as to thyroid, all the thyroid cancers. Doctors are forced to lie in Japan because of the secrecy law. And doctors in the United States are brainwashed to be fucking hostile. My niece went to the doctor and asked her doctor if he thought, she thought, he thought the cold that his, her daughters were having was caused by the nuclear pollution from Fukushima. He got straight up mad at her and said, don't, you know, you need to stop going to Facebook. Stop listening to the fear mongering. There's no harm from any nuclear source on the planet right now. For real. An American doctor said this to his patient and let her know that not to ask about it again. So the Nazis are fully in force in the medical industry. That's what we're contending with, folks. Even in the face of massive death, massive illness, we have medical physicians who have been brainwashed and misinformed. So the work that we do here on YouTube you know, we're sort of the anti-establishment, anti-nukers. This is why I'm wearing my mask, kind of in solidarity with the resistance. Because really, you know, the establishment anti-nuke community isn't rushing to talk to us here on YouTube. Um, I'm going to continue to reach out to them to get them on my radio show. I'm super grateful Carl Grossman has come on my radio show. I'm also grateful for the interview I did with Helen Caldicott. And I'm grateful that Chuck Johnson, even though he and I really disagree on a lot of things, is on my show. Uh, because he's with Oregon Physicians for Social Responsibility. That's kind of establishment. That's what I want. Like Hanford Challenge, we're considered nutters. We're, you know, like, I don't even get a call back from them. I don't get emails back. So why is that? Because they look at YouTube and say, well, they're a bunch of nutters. Chris Busby told me that. He doesn't want to come on here because he doesn't want to be demeaned in case he goes into court. Because, hey, he's on the video with a woman that's putting on a mask. Talking to a camera about facts that I'm not 100% sure on. I don't even speak science. You know what I speak? Love. I speak love because I know that we are dying from nuclear pollution. This failed experiment, what other industry has to have the taxpayers build it? So we pay for it to get built. And then when the little bit of energy it gives to us, we have to pay for that too. And then when it falls apart, 
We have to pay for that too. All the while, all the contractors, everybody's getting paid billions of dollars on our backs. And the pollution that is the most toxic substance ever discovered that will last hundreds of thousands of years, they have no answer for it. And we're all getting sick and dying, and we still have to pay for it. And none of them are responsible for the lies they tell us. And they can lie directly to the government and withhold information, and nobody fucking goes to jail. Excuse my cussing. It's beyond, beyond comprehension that we have medical doctors defending the nuclear industry. That we have scientists believing that nuclear is clean and green. That we have women working in the nuclear industry who are out there saying moms for nuclear. While their children are born with holes in their heart, their reproductive systems, they're all having problems. They die of cancer. Their chance of getting cancer is higher. It's beyond comprehension, the brainwashing that has gone on. 2017 is a year of healing. And I say, let's heal. Let's reach out. I'm going to continue to reach out to the establishment anti-nukers and talk to them with reasonability. And I want other YouTubers People on YouTube, we need to join forces and speak well of each other and promote each other and help each other. For me, it's not about getting clicks. I recently monetized my channel. You know why? Because I don't really have that many viewers. I'm sort of on again, off again. I don't really do it like all the time because I have school and I'm busy. But I decided if I monetize my channel... YouTube will probably promote it so that they want the clicks on their ads. So I apologize. I don't, I, have, I don't really see my videos like you guys see them with the commercials. I haven't really figured out how to do that yet. So I, don't, I apologize that you have to watch commercials, but in a way I'm doing it so that I think YouTube will promote it. And actually, if you guys would click on the commercials, that would make them think that we're worthy of promoting. <laughs> you just click and then turn it off again. Do you know what I mean? I've done that. Like I did that with the Richie Allen show. He monetized his his video. So I always like listen to a commercial or two and then click on it or just to do it, just to make them think that their ads are working so they promote his show more because I like the Richie Allen show. And the money that I get on here is going to go to No Nukes Northwest. And we are going to put it into a fund to shut down the Columbia Generating Station. And that probably means legal fees because we're serious. In the future, we're going to do actions where we expect to get arrested. Not violent actions, not harmful actions, not harming anybody's property, doing nothing like that. But if you resist, if you stand in their way, they have you arrested. Okay, happiness is resistance, man. We're happy to do it. Because they have been killing our children for too long. My friend Lois could have lived to be 100 years old. She was a vibrant woman. Like, and brilliant. Just a kick in the pants. Just a magnificent person. And I joked with their caretaker and I said, you know, the only good thing is that she gets to avoid the Trump nation, man. She doesn't have to live through a Trump. And she started laughing. This Her caretaker started laughing and said, you know what's funny? She was like real groggy and woke up and there was something on about Trump. And she just yelled out, bastard Trump, and went back to sleep. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> To the bitter end. I like that. Oh my gosh, you guys. We must be role models for of integrity and do our higher selves. 
think about doing the higher selves. I'm not talking about sacrificing yourselves or pretending to be real. But be real. Just be real. Be yourself. Our true selves are kind, loving people. And yeah, we get mad. We get angry at each other. We say shit like, whatever. Who cares? I still love Dana Durnford's work. And I love Dana. I'm not the one who got mad at him. He got mad at me. You know? I got mad at Kevin and I've gotten over it recently. I realized very recently, like... Actually, that's been the benefit with the argument about Dana getting so mad at me. And at Caldecott and Busby and just like being, man, going off the charts, angry. I, it made me realize like, wow, dude, man, I have not talked to Kevin because I got mad over a simple little bit of an argument. Like, really? That's ridiculous. I, I've always said that Kevin's work is valid and and you know good he does his own work he has he gets out there now whether him and I agree on some things we don't have to agree and frankly we don't really have to like each other we have to be civil with each other you know and we don't have to like everything about it. I, I mean for some people it's all or nothing it's all the way or not way but you know, other people, I'm not exactly like that extreme. Well, I guess there's certain lines that I won't cross. That's the thing. This is my thing. On my YouTube channel, I do not allow any negative statements about anybody. None. I don't like that pissing contest going on in my, in my comments. I've actually banned John Watling from my... And I haven't banned him. I deleted his comments. I hope I haven't banned John Watling because I like John Watling and his work. I just didn't like the rah, 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 he was saying shit. And I'm like, dude, you can't talk like that on my channel. It's probably why I only have like two or three hundred people following me because YouTube seems to like people who will like be mean and assert their like, I don't know, hyper masculinity, which whatever. Look. I can't believe that Lois is going to die because of Fukushima, but she is. For sure, she's like the first person I know that got something that is very apparently related to nuclear pollution. Caused a serious problem, and of course she went through the AMA and they just used her like a fucking science experiment, which has failed badly. They love to chop up old people, if you hadn't fucking noticed. I, I am so anti-AMA. You have no idea. Well, I'm going to end here. I just encourage everybody to really... Uh, more than act your conscience. Be your conscience. Like, be your real self. Be who you really are. And... Um, Refuse to wallow in anger and self-pity and, and hatred. Just refuse that bullshit. Like, just say no. Remember that love is greater than fear. Happiness is resistance. And we better be happy to resist, folks. Because that's what's been wrong. We have not resisted. We've just like, oh yeah, wow, man, they're polluting the ocean. Wow, they've really polluted all the land. Well, they are shoving GMOs down on us. No, we do not have to do that. Well, we have the Unpatriot Act. I guess it's permanent. We don't have our rights forever now. No, we can pressure our government to revoke the Unpatriot Act. We need to get our Constitution back. <coughs> okay. So, I have this... I mean, again... <coughs> I have the same lung congestion. I really do believe it is nuclear pollution. But I did make some tincture that keeps it in check. And uh, I'm going to go take some. <laughs> Anyways, you guys. Oh, wow. Please put your courage feet on. And uh, I don't know. It just seems so mamby-pamby just to say love everybody. But I think that's what it's going to require. Like us to just express love we've been expressing fear and anger and hatred 
for at least 15 years since the fucking government blew up 9-11. Those buildings. I mean, I firmly believe the United States deep state, like Dick Cheney and Rumsfeld and Bush, I firmly believe all those people did that. I do not believe it was like a group of terrorists who hated our lives. And I believe that they used nuclear weapons. And I think that the media was coerced and told if you don't go along with it, you'll get thrown into one of those fucking gulags. They are the ones who did send out the anthrax. I mean, we have just been so afraid in this country for so long. It's time to get over it. We've got to find our courage. And courage means action in the face of danger. Doing what you know is right, even though there might be consequences. Courage. Thank you, Isabel, my sweet little angel. Born in 2012. I'm having another bit grandchild. We're having another baby. I wish I could be overjoyed about it. I'm happy for them, but that's why I'm doing this YouTube video, because we have got to stop these people. It's enough. We cannot take it anymore. Beautiful people like Lois will pass too early, and we lose her perspective. We lose her history. We lose her knowledge of the past that she was bringing to us too early because of nuclear pollution. And they're doing nothing about it. They're digging in their heels and convincing our doctors that nuclear is safe. Our doctors, they're, like, they're going to just start putting leeches on us to bleed us dry next. Please take some action. And... Um, Join us on our radio show, The Age of Fission Radio Show, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. You can probably watch the podcast. That's how I listen to it is on the YouTubes. I go to UCY TV. And on uh, my YouTube channel, this YouTube channel, I am going to be completing this oral history by Dr. John Goffman. Uh, in fact, I'm about to do a reading next. So... Uh, I'm going to say a prayer for Lois and for all of those people suffering from nuclear pollution that are being denied any acknowledgement of how they got this. We have our yes, we have our no. Ciao.